After our agenda of meeting up with subscribers, sending off an Air Asia monoplane, going island hopping and touring the magnificent underground river, it was time for us to fly out of Palawan for our next destination. This is the new Puerto Princesa International Airport, where me and travel buddy Alia are flying out of on our way to Cebu City. But before we proceed to do our check-in, I just had to see a friend who works at Pal's ticket office. Vince was working as a ticket agent years ago in Manila, assisting me with my frequent travels with Pal. Now he runs Pal's ticket offices here in Puerto Princesa and is still helping me with our concerns even on today's flight. We're simply grateful to have people like Vincent here at the airport. With our worries taken care of, Ali and I headed off to drop our luggage at check-in and to secure our window seats. Once we got our boarding passes, we just had to check out the shops here in the departure hall. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Bo. Oh, thank you. Soon after, we passed through security check, moving further into the airport's gate areas. Entering this hall, one is sure to notice this airport's modern design, having light posts that resemble huge palm trees, giving this terminal a tropical feel. More to that, what will surely remind you that you're still in this breathtaking island of Palawan are souvenir shops like this one, which you can find just within proximity to the gates. You can conveniently buy certain items like refrigerator magnets, tote bags, and shirts, all the way to indigenous artworks and accessories, wood carvings, and other locally made handicraft. For me, there's simply more to just purchasing some items here. I'm bringing home work that reflects the different ethnic groups and cultures that is surely unique only to this island paradise. For those who prefer food over collecting stuff, you can also find those packs of roasted cashew nuts just next to the souvenir shops. It's our first time to pass through this airport's gate area, and there's simply more to explore. With sunlit windows and high ceiling, this area gives passengers somewhat like an open-air feel, but still within the confines and comfort of an air-conditioned hall. Large glass windows provide good views of parked areas at the ramp, something airline enthusiasts and plane spotters would definitely love. Now this is just the ground floor. There's still plenty of things this airport has to offer, having a play area for children and a prayer room among its facilities. What's more, there's a number of cafes and food shops on the second level where you can grab a quick meal before your flight. Now that's where we're definitely going to take a look. Upstairs on the second level provides a different atmosphere. Other than giving a bird's eye view of what's going on down below, some passengers would opt to while their time here as it simply gives them an escape from the movement of travelers at the ground floor. Here you could find a variety of food shops and cafes where you can simply have some coffee or perhaps a light snack while spending some quiet time before taking your flight. As an elite member of PAL's frequent flyer program, Mabuhay Miles, I have the privilege of enjoying my time in a more quiet place with even more privacy. Yes, this terminal is one of the airports in the country that has a Mabuhay Lounge. Even on an economy class ticket, as an elite member, I get access to what I consider a sanctuary. Not only does this lounge offer relaxation, it also provides unlimited food and drinks as well as fast internet connection all available to elite and business class travelers of Philippine Airlines, and it's all for free. For breakfast, I got me the arroz caldo and fruit juice, along with sagot gulaman and suman latin. Now it's only a matter of time before our plane arrives that we spend our time relaxing at the Mubuhay Lounge. After a while, we were finally called to board our flight, but not before an unexpected surprise from my friend Vince. 
ano, ano pang pasalubong din. Oo naman kasi, so na. Ah, it's alright. Enjoy ng mga Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy Now that's what I call buong pusong alaga, with PAL staff even going the extra mile. After thanking Vince for the gifts, we headed off to board our plane by walking all the way from the gate towards our aircraft. There are no aero bridges in this airport for now, and we can only walk towards the plane. As we did, we can already see that it's gonna be a full flight. <laughs> So, di naman namin sa runway. Picture, picture mo na tayo. Hindi. Ano po full flight kami? Full time? Full flight? Ah, full flight na full flight. We didn't mind waiting at the ramp, as we get to have all the time we have looking at planes parked in the distance. Not only was this a good time for us to take pictures on the tarmac, but also to fellow pilots fly different flights who happen to stop and see each other again at this airport. Soon it was our turn to board PAL Express's Q400 next-gen aircraft. And as always, I gotta do my ritual of tapping the plane. And doing so, I also thought about doing a little extra. Has anyone kissed a Q400 before? Well, it's good to be on board this Q400 again. Soon as I had my boarding pass checked by a crew member, I proceeded to find our seat. But then it took a while as other passengers ahead of us are doing the same thing and holding up the line. Again, it's a full flight. Finally, we got to settle in our assigned seats. And once the forward door is closed, we buckle up as instructed by the crew member doing the safety demo. Not too long and our plane was finally moving out of the ramp, with my travel buddy a bit excited to take her very first trip to Cebu. Once we were up in the air, we just can't help enjoy the view of the clear blue skies. In-flight snacks were soon served in the form of cookies and a bottle of water. I'm not quite sure what happened to the pastries or sky treats that they used to serve before, but Aliyah and I just simply tried to enjoy what we were given in today's flight. After a quick bite, most of the passengers went for a nap, including myself. For Aliyah, she spent the remaining time quietly checking out PAL's routes and destinations featured at the Bubuhay magazine. Well, I couldn't really sleep especially when our plane began to descend and enter the clouds. That's where things started to get bumpy for quite some time. As soon as our plane made it below the clouds, we continued to descend smoothly with the plane's landing gear in sight.
we finally made it to Cebu. For me, it's good to be back, while for Alia, she can't wait to explore the city once she gets off the plane. Okay, so we're here in Cebu and it's our first time. But before we disembark, we just had to ask permission from our pilots if we can take a few souvenir photos at the flight deck. Fortunately, we were allowed to do so, and we're grateful for this opportunity to have selfies with the Q400 flight controls in the background. Yup, it's a long walk from our plane's parking bay to arrival, and the shuttle bus is needed to take us there. Along the way, we can see how dark clouds are approaching the airport, and that we're simply blessed to have arrived in Cebu before a flight could be caught in bad weather. Once we got off the bus, we had to walk down a bit further and proceed to arrivals, where we needed to stop by baggage claim to collect our luggage. Aliyah, who has traveled with me a few times, is used to arriving at smaller airports, and being here for the first time is something different for her. Still, it's the same routine. Collect our bags, exit the arrival hall, and meet some subscribers waiting outside the airport. <laughs> Meeting us at the airport is subscriber James Jaime, and picking us up is travel buddy Joshua De La Cruz. After introducing them to each other, we headed out to have a late lunch of steak and pork ribs at Ayala Center, and a bit of walking at the mall along with Joshua's mom. Then, we were met by another subscriber, Kim Kampilan, and afterwards headed off to take a look at the biggest collection of Hot Wheel cars at James' house in Mabolo. After that, we set off to Joshua's place where we had a quick tutorial in flying a Cessna aircraft through its flight simulator before we called it a night. Next day, we were with subscriber James and taking Aliyah in her very first visit at Magellan's Cross, then heading to Basilica Minore del Santo Niño afterwards, where Aliyah and I had to light some candles for both her mom and my dad who we lost lately. It's a quick stop for us in Cebu and I bet my travel buddy enjoyed her flight as well as her visit in the Queen City of the South. This is Mitch Young. Thank you for watching Airline Travel in Airports. <laughs>